We start with breaking news on a deadly shooting at a house party in Humble. This afternoon, we learned the 18-year-old who was killed was a North Shore football player. Jervon Coles was a two-time first-team all-district linebacker at North Shore High School. I hey. spoke with his grandfather, Braxton Coles, this afternoon. He tells me Jarvon had a 4.1 GPA and was planning to attend Lamar University next year. Shit. <laughs> wow. God, dog. And he went to a party. Young people go to parties. You can't say, well, what is he doing at a party? I mean, that's what young people do, man, right? That's what young folks do, man. Um, it's a party, man. Oh, word, it's a party tonight. Shit. Hormones raging. I'm going to go rub up on some fucking young, hot teen ass and shit. Yeah, man. He went to the party, man. Can't knock him for that, man. 4.1 GPA and was planning to attend Lamar University next year and play football there. Mr. Braxton said he last heard from Jarvon on Friday when he told him he was going to hang out with a couple of buddies. He told me to share this message, quote, parents, please keep your kids close. No matter how hard you try, you can't save them, end quote. One of Jervon's coaches, Kyle Hedridge, also releasing a statement saying, quote, you cannot measure the impact he had on and off the field in our program. Truly an incredible human being. Prayers needed for his family, our student athletes, our staff, and the entire North Shore community. The young man was killed just after 11 o'clock last night at a house on Fieldwick Lane. Here's reporter Katira Winfrey with what investigators and neighbors are saying. Partygoers packed the 4900 block of Fieldwick Lane in Humble Saturday night, but the celebration ended with an 18-year-old high school football player dead. They found a 18-year-old male. Um, he was unresponsive. So the EMS started doing CPR on him, and when they started doing CPR on him, they realized he had been shot. The Harris County Sheriff's Office was initially called to the area about underage drinking at a rental house. While en route, they got another call about... Short-term rental, Airbnb. God, they ruin everything. Yeah, about underage drinking at a rental house. While en route, they got another call about an unresponsive person. Jackie Metcalf lives nearby and saw all the traffic, heard the party noise, and then gunfire. I said, well, we'll probably hear something in a minute. And it wasn't long that EMS started coming by. And <laughs> Racist white man. How dare he say, oh, we're going to hear something in a minute. What you yeah, mean? Man. Look at that motherfucking uh, white supremacist, good old boy, uh, patriot. Red from... pickup truck. Red yeah, <laughs> you know what that red. Look, he's trying to motherfucking what that is. He trying to scare us uh, good old uh, colored folk. Mm -mm -mm. Imagine if he got American flag in that motherfucker. Oh, that's complete intimidation. I'm surprised he ain't had no MAGA hat on, man. Man. So you, you telling me, man, he's sitting there on his property. He, see, he sees all them sons over there. He said, oh, shit, it's going to be something. That's we gonna hear something very soon, and like clockwork, they know something man. happened very soon. They know everyone knows, <laughs> everyone knows. Uh, that's what that's what makes me like to the point where you know what I'm saying. Obviously, in my profession, you know, I see the worst of the worst with people, and we see it together. And you know, they they it's embarrassing. Everyone knows, but they can't say the shit out loud. Right, but everyone hey, knows. Hey, he's a star football player. They haven't used the word star at all. I don't give a fuck if he's going to Lamar, which is a small school. You know how hard it is to go Division One on a full scholarship for any fucking thing. They haven't even fucking gave him the word star or superstar mm -hmm. athlete. Or he's got a four point one GPA. This is the best of us. We should be fucking crying 
Like, yep. this shit should sound like a fucking soap opera when you report this shit, as if a fucking crackhead that's got 37 arrests <laughs> got arrested for resisting and uh, motherfucking ended up uh, accidentally mistaking the ta- the gun for the taser. That's what this shit should sound like, right? Yeah. Not one NFL player in the in you got the Dallas Cowboys, you got the Houston Texans, all that shit in Texas. Not one person's gonna comment on this shit. That's why I say fuck they fucking platform. We have a voice, we need to use it. We have a platform and all this other shit. No, you don't, because you only use a platform when it's fucking everybody else saying the same shit. Now I will say this. I will say this. And I did this when um one one day it was a few years ago i don't know how long you've been following the channel but i did this a few years ago um a kid named shaquille um was killed um a kid named shaquille oh, i remember was killed yeah, I remember. and i was oh, well okay he's good. i've been yeah. following <laughs> I, i've been i've been um i've been following you in the car days for sure before brianna Man. taylor um Man. Yeah, so I have been watching your videos probably since 2019. Damn. Yeah, I've been I've been around, man. Okay, but that's so you know this one. But for the people who don't know, at one time a kid named Shaquille got killed in Philly. He was riding his bike down the street and he got killed. Um, shout up. And I was like, why don't Shaquille O'Neal pay for this kid's funeral since he paid for that girl, he offered to pay for that girl, Jasmine Barnes in Houston, who was allegedly killed by the the, the white guy in the um red pickup truck, and then they found out that he it wasn't that it pickup wasn't truck. That, yeah, yeah, it, yeah was, it was actually it was all made sons. up. It was all made up. Yeah, yeah. It, was all, it was all made up. It was a lie told by the, the mother and everything, and it was actually some sons that killed, killed um, him and killed that girl and and Shaq was going to pay for her funeral and then once it it was found out that it was sons that did it and they they arrested the sons and they perp walked them and their face was all over the news did hear a peep out of Shaq so a few weeks later a kid named Shaquille gets shot and I and I was like yo Shaq need to fucking pay for this kid's funeral if he's if he's since he's in the business of paying for funerals pay for this kid's funeral because his name is Shaquille and then I went to the gun memorial and I looked up how many Shaquille's got killed. And if Shaq paid for every Shaquille's funeral that got murdered, <laughs> yo, I, I had, he would be- I had <laughs> yo, I'm not gonna lie to you, this is some random shit, some wild shit, but it's like I had two Shaquille's get killed in my area, which is. <laughs> A 30 block fucking radius, whatever it is that I work in, in less than two weeks, it was two Shaquilles that got killed. And one of them was actually named Shaquille O'Neal. Wow. Yeah. Google it. I'm not bullshitting. Shaquille wow. O'Neal, Chicago, homicide. He got shot. Hell yeah, he got shot up. He got shot up. He, he was sitting on the bus here. stop. He might be over here. God. Oh man, yeah, but yeah, Shaquille's get I, but Shaquille's get killed so often that if he did pay for, for one Shaquille's funeral, and 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 you know, and then he got he he got the he, he goes Shaquille O'Neal right here. Um, if he if he, he would, yo, he would have to fucking. Get some new endorsements, man. Shaq would have to fucking. Hey, look, that's a Shaquille O'Neal steal. This kid was named Shaquille O'Neal. He was like 20. He was around the same age as that guy right there. These are all the Shaquilles that have been killed by guns. That the gun memorial who can't really catch everything, but they catch a lot. They catch a lot of it have caught in the last what six years okay so the, so this is this goes back to 2011 but the majority of them are since 2016 
A lot of Shaquille's, a lot of dead Shaquille's since 2016, man. Um, by guns, just oh, by Shaquille, guns. Shaquille, Shaquille Bryant, uh, he was in my area too. This one, yeah, yeah, yeah that was fucked up. Yeah, he, he was with the shits. Um, uh, he actually was uh working at the park district and he fixed iPhones, but uh, he had a pass of some bullshit, so it probably came a hundred and got him back. Mm. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, man. Um, a lot of these guys, if if they jump in out there and say something about one murder, like say they just say something about a murder in their town. Say you Philly. Say say you from Philly, right? <laughs> and you and you say, hey, hey man, I'm a you know my cause is gonna be this kid who got shot on the bus on Monday, and then Tuesday the killer kid gets shot, but the two Thursday four eight kids get shot on the bus. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what happened? What happened to Shaquille Moker, man? Shaquille who? The little guy. Which one? Shaquille who? Right oh, this one, Shaquille yeah. Walker. Um, he was uh shot in Buffalo. Um, uh, oh, it was a bad shooting. Four people were shot. He 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 got hit. It, it's, it must it must have been a um like a drive by or something. Yeah, man. So yeah, it's it's like. It's just like you, that. I, that's why I give them a little grace with that because yeah. there's no like once you like yo before you even send the tweet, another fucking kid is dead. But that's why another, I say that's why I say don't even engage if you are if you have a platform from other for anything other than this shit. Do not engage with this shit because you remember how they was treating fucking LeBron and shit during that 2020 year? You remember they blocked the fucking bus and it was like, no, you need to comment on this one too type shit. It took him, what, two years of not really talking the fucking super woke shit for them to like leave him alone and move on to some shit? Yeah. I mean, it's just just a damn shame, man. Um, so all these kids named after Shaquille. All these kids named after Jalen Rose. Listen, man, let me tell you something. I didn't have a classmate or anybody. I'm from, I'm older. I'm, I was born in 78. I had never heard of anybody named Shaquille. No, Shaquille. Until, until Shaquille. Oh, so no. you got names like Shaquille. You got Jalen. You got Kobe. Yeah, never heard of a Jalen. I'd never heard of a Jalen before. You got Kobe's. You have Carmelo's now. And you got LeBron's. Those are names that we should look through the gun memorial for. I listen, a Jalen is the most popular one. So it's it's there's gotta be a million because Jalen is spelled a lot of a myriad of ways. Yeah, so I, gotta, gotta I know a Jalen that's spelled J-A-E-L-E-N. Yeah, or if you spell it this the regular way. I don't know how that became the most popular name, but yeah, it is. Like just Jalen, like this, it's um Jalen Rose. <laughs> Jalen Rose was low key like a uh, you know, he was he was a he was a pretty good basketball player, but he was a uh he was almost a a symbol like a sex symbol and shit. You know his lining and all the other shit. He was pretty smooth back yeah. then. Jay Jay, well, I mean, he was a Fab Five. That's what it's about, man. It's about the Fab Five. Yeah, that's they true. Big, yeah, that's they, true. That's they, true. Was, they was they was the biggest fucking. They was like rock stars, man. Um, I, I was around for that when that happened. They they it ain't been a team as big as them in college basketball since. Even UNLV was before them, and Georgetown was be, in five slammer gym. All that was before them, but since them, it hasn't been no big team as big as them. Um. This is, yeah, Jalen, this fucking kid. Um, One school district, Galena Park ISD, is mourning the deaths of two students, as <laughs> students should be enjoying the start of their spring break. A relative tells us Jervon Coles, who went to North Shore High School, was shot and killed at a house party last night. 
This news comes as another family is remembering 12-year-old Carlos Fernandez, who was killed in his home nearly a week ago. We began with Troy class at North Shore High tonight as investigators are still working to find a suspect. He joins us live with more from the family. Troy. No suspect. Yeah, Cheryl, again, Jervon's grandfather and guardian telling us tonight that his, again, Jervon had plans to play college football. Meanwhile, I spoke with a teammate of Jervon just an, a few hours ago, and he is holding on to memories of his friend. Hearing about a friend's loss isn't easy. Woke up to the news, started crying. D'Amico Williams is a senior at North Shore who played football with Jervon Coles. Jarvon was a great human being. He was a great person. Always had a smile on his face. You never see him uh, getting in, getting into anything bad or having any type of conflict with anybody. He's always getting along with people. He says Coles got along with everyone, always checking to make sure his friends were doing well. He was a, yeah, like I said, he was a great person, you know, on and off the field. He was very smart and um, yeah, very smart. Jarvon's grandfather and guardian tells us he had a 4.1 GPA and was accepted into 15 colleges with plans to play football at Lamar University. He says the last contact. He a little undersized, man. You see that? No, nah, he was uh, he was planning to walk on at Lamar. He did. They, as you see, he didn't. Uh, they, he hasn't had a full scholarship. Yeah. But the way that that kid like describes him, you already know that that's different than the normal son exactly this was this was a great kid yeah he was an undersized kid. he was an undersized linebacker he probably would have got a scholarship if he was a little bit bigger he had a 4.1 gpa and was accepted into 15 colleges with plans to play football at lamar university he says the last contact with jervon was friday night on saturday coles went to a party in the humble area the Harris County Sheriff's Office says they responded to calls at a home on Fieldwick Lane. Deputies say the 18-year-old was found unresponsive with a gunshot wound to the chest. At some point during the party, there was a car uh, occupied by multiple people uh, that drove by the location and fired several shots. Toward <laughs> so they shot. He wasn't the intended target. That's what I figured, man. Because if you like, that makes sense. If he was a great kid, he was just in the party, and the guy shot up the airbnb and he got hit of all the people in there he the one that got killed i bet you that glider man did it Shit, man unbelievable man flute to doug m he says begging for while buying up those idiocracy crocs mm. You gonna have to flesh that out for me, um, Doug. I don't really know what that means, man. I'm sorry about that. Yes. Man. At some point during the party, there was a car uh, occupied by multiple people uh, that drove by the location and fired several shots towards the party, striking our victim. Friends now left with memories of Jarvon off and on the field. It was great. I wouldn't trade it for the world. You know, uh, he was a very great player. His grandfather, Braxton, also sharing a message saying, quote, parents, please keep your kids close. No matter how hard you try, you can't save them. And just a couple minutes ago, I got off the phone with the Harris County Sheriff's Office, and they're still working on getting a better description of the suspects. Now, again, if you know anything about this crime, I got you uh, call either I'm deputies or crime stoppers. <laughs> you got the description. Yeah, man. All right, so first <laughs> off, they were, in a, they were in either a Hyundai or a Kia. They traveled whatever direction the street was. It was three to four male blacks dressed in dark clothing. One had a rifle and the other two fired handguns. And they fled the scene and we found the stolen car. It's been ditched less than a half a mile away. Sounds about right. So you think they, they were asked to another leave deadly and they shooting came back? They were asked to leave and they came back and shot it up, or did this happen just for no reason? Just drive by and shoot up the house? 
It could have been something it like that. Been, it could have been beef. Either. Yeah, it could have been. It could have been that, or it could have been like they knew that they officers at this party. It it could have been as simple as that. Simple as hey, you gotta go. But I don't know. I feel like this was more so like they got into some shit and they just rolled past and lit up the fucking crowd. Yeah. No care for anybody's life because because the like shooting at the party was just probably like a message like yo man fuck y'all or whoever y'all throwing that party fuck y'all it just it what probably wasn't even like I think like if they hadn't killed anybody it, it would have been fine you know what I'm saying it would have been message sent you know what I'm saying if they did kill somebody it, 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 it didn't kill it killed them. it didn't matter who they killed like it, it they is. It's hard to explain, man. It's hard to explain that mindset, but it's like it's just like the, you're just shooting at them, like just to like fuck y'all, like ah, it's like yelling at them and shit. You know what I'm saying? And then they do this shit like tonight. Another they go sleep. They go to their mom's house on an air mattress on the floor, and they sleep like fucking babies, yo. Yeah. Yeah. There's no. If you're this savage, there's no amount of programs, no no amount of uh, anything that's gonna fix that, man. That, that's just psych psychopathic behavior. Everybody knew this shit in 1913, though, and that's what's crazy. It's been a long time. Everyone knows this shit. Sons, a few sons are just now realizing it. That's how you know we behind the fucking curve, because like. Everyone, if you look at all that Hazit, what, whatever, what's that dude name? The news guy? All this shit. From like, yeah, like 1920, 1930. Mm -hmm. It's the same shit. Oh, God, the boy, oh boy, did, like, did you watch that video? Oh, boy, told you to listen to? Nah, I didn't. I, didn't get a chance I listened to, to it. it. It's the same shit as now. It's literally the same. He explained the same shit. About how the sun community is, the most bizarre group of people.